hello guys welcome back on my youtube channel my name is monica if you are new here if you are not you already know what we will do in here so it's a monday and i just received a packet from benefit and uh, i was thinking to jump here and talk to you and show you uh, these products i'm very excited because this is new stuff what benefit uh, offer for us and some other what they had already so if you're interested in that review keep watching videos I have three steps to review products first step it's product by itself everything about the product how it look what I think about and uh, step number two it's application I will put that products on me um, and I will tell you what I think about this if I like or not how this was working for me and number three and the last one it's price prices I left on the end just because uh, I think it's fair comparing on the end we left prices I also give range points five five is the highest uh, point one is the lowest um, about the product once again this is my experience about this is my private toss uh, maybe this on your mind just so you know also products when they are sent to me or I buy them by myself it doesn't matter I just review them for you so I give always 100% honestly from me about some brand or product of course so I get this from Benefit today and already in here I can tell you this is like a very cute summer bag let me take this inside uh, so this is cute bag look guys it's big it's it's very nice look on the details so how we have packet in here I don't know why this is in here I guess it's cool gadget uh, we have logo also benefit there I think this is very nice travel friendly I like it and then inside inside I got this another bag from benefit I was so spoiled today and this bag guys actually look look on the towels we have benefit in here uh, this is like a like a metallic very nice kind of pinkish violet green like um, holders and here look guys you hang this out and you have two packets for your products when you travel or just to keep in home very nice I don't know if you can buy this from benefit I think it's just with PR uh, so sorry <laughs> if it is but it's very nice I'm very 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 happy she is mm? okay so there we have uh, the newest palette I will grab for you guys now then first we have the newest palette in here so so cool so cool definitely already benefit have two uh, different it's like bronze squad and cheerleader uh, which I will show you soon we will compare them also a little bit um, so this palette how look by self we have cheek stars in here so I guess in the, this palette they are the favorites uh, mm, like a bronzer highlighters or blushes from benefit in those opinion um, and then we have in here Georgia on guitar, <laughs> uh, Sugar Bomb, it's uh, on tambourine, and then we have Cookie uh, on drums, and then we have Dallas <laughs> on tambourine again, and Hola on bass. This is how palette look. What you get inside? Ta -da! so so nice looking uh, include palette you will have small brush and it's a very nice travel friendly I never was using that brush I have to be honest with you uh, I don't why I drop everything so I don't know how she exactly performs maybe we will try today we will see uh, but yeah if they could add one more shade uh, not that brush yes they could but i guess they just put that gadget because they think maybe we need some if we go somewhere i don't know but we have it and uh, as i say palettes 
smell by itself very beautiful we have in here like very nice champagne highlighter we have this highlighter what i already love and this is cookie i really love this highlighter from other palette and then we have original hula bronzer which i have individual also and on other palettes you will have it too and then we have dallas this uh, another bronzer more kind of cold and a little bit lighter and then in the on the middle i didn't try that yet i don't know actually this is like very nice glowy uh blush yeah like this is interesting this will be interesting to try actually i'm very exciting for that yes i'm very exciting for that palette uh, another products what i got on packet they are individual um bronzer with blushes and highlighters from uh, benefit i think it's very nice if you don't want to uh, invest on so big palette or you just don't need so big palette definitely you will enjoy those uh, and in here i think everyone know original hula every uh, again oh. <laughs> Every uh, product have also brushes inside and the mirror. So of course we give them five points as well because uh, look, they are so small, they are so nice. Like look on them. What's happening? Oh, okay, look guys, definitely they deserve for five because even Miro have protection, foil protection. Who would do that? Who would do that? So definitely I like it. And this is very beautiful highlighter blush. I like this one too. Sunny golden pink blush. And then another one what I get, it's, it's highlighter, but twinkly twinkly and this is nude pink powder highlighter illuminator look like this definitely i think i can put this on all of my face yeah wow this will be nice to put like a you know like japanese heel powder so definitely i will apply this on my entire face after i apply powder so we will use that today um, I will not use this uh, product because I, I already had on other palettes, so we will let this for some giving away. Uh, Hula also, I have other, so we will let this on giving away. Uh, okay, and then I got also two other products. Ta -da! We have primers, so we will try them uh, both today as well uh, first one this is a poor primer i will use this second time uh, i don't know i don't like powder silicone products on my face uh, but it smooths skin very nicely definitely um, so i have this product before and then we have another primer which i didn't try yet so it will be nice for me to try something new and this is poor uh, this is hydrate primer so we will try them also let's open it out oh nice it's very nice size if we can come i don't know what's happening today seriously if we can compare with primer maybe from fenty it's so this is very heavy this one i do like it more i think primers they have to be more comfy to grab with you everywhere uh, so i like it and let's open this hydrating one plus of course you have all information about ingredients uh or this uh, okay let me talk about it's also the same size is the same and we have in here 22 milli 22 and this one have also 22 so i think for also products they are so cute we have swimming woman in here and the running lady over there i think definitely five points as well why not it's it's they look very cute very cute very okay that's it actually guys and now let's apply products so i will just clean my face very quickly i will remove this makeup i apply on my work time and uh, we will review primers okay i'm ready 
so one side I will try out, I mean I will apply, I already try, I will apply this pour primer and on this side I will apply it hydrating and let's talk a little bit about pour primer, uh, what is that? Um, so this is oil free, lightweight, translucent, silky and silky I don't prefer so much, it's just for me and then another one let's see what another can do oil free silky smooth light wear 12 hours hydration yes i really like that uh-huh okay it have like a brownish consistency like a like very creamy i like it exactly so this is hydrating this is for poor with matte or with poor in here so uh, i do remember it smooth out skin very very nicely um, i don't have so much problem with pores with pores with pore by you see the different already it left like a creamy powder finish but i have pretty dry skin so for me it's much better hydrating than this one but definitely look you can just apply and go by self as well because it left like kind of a little bit cover on your skin mm? uh, like a, like they say silky powder this what i don't like i'll put around the nose okay and on another side we go with moisturizer ah uh, so much better so much better it's not like a powder finish uh, more like a silicone -y. and this uh, hydrating smell mod more with citrus uh, this uh, powder one it smells like a nice cream but not intensive just want to say about that oh yes definitely i like more hydrating I just don't feel nice to apply this powder side. It's like halava ka, halava kava. What what I do? What I just say? I don't know. I'm tired. So I just want to say, this one have like a powder feeling. This one like a nice cream. Uh, so for application, my winner is hydrating. I'm not super fan of powder silky products on my face just preference that nothing really special it's just what i like or don't like by myself and i will use fenty and this is 230 uh, just to see my reaction about powders about primers so i will apply on this side when we have poor primer this powder silicone and we will see how this foundation uh, will stay will look not stay on that side okay and on another side hydrating primer okay guys so i really apply this foundation as i normal do and uh, yeah definitely side when i had poor primer i'm not super fun because as i say i have original like regular dry skin and i see like my pores pore i still will cover this with the uh, powder but i think definitely more smooth left hydrating primer for me so i have dry skin and i think this poor primer it work perfectly for more oily or normal skin type but for me i see some dryness on my forehead and around my nose um, and also in here or my cheek on the other side it's perfect primer for me like i love feeling on this side so this is my winner this one 
For application, definitely I will give 5 points for this product in here. I like smell, consistency and what make with my skin. For this product, I will give barely 2 points on 5 just because it's not product for me but uh, this review is about this if it work for me or not so i just tell you it doesn't work for my skin type i have dry normal skin type so it doesn't work for me so good like this one that's why i give two points but product by itself it's very good and i know many girls love this primer it's like very liking primer from benefit it just doesn't work for me uh, on under eyes my favorite concealer guys and this is from Benefit uh, number 4 I really like this concealer it's definitely full coverage um, I just like it time to set my base okay so I have two powders from Benefit this is so cute Thing. Uh, but I think I will use lighter one, number three, because I'm very pale right now. I will just double check if I don't crease. Oh, I took too much. I really forgot how nice this powder is it just smooth my skin so 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 much okay I'm done Ooh. okay so now when I look on the mirror I have to tell you wait Okay, so when I look on the mirror now, and this is the thing, the side when I had this primer look better after all powders and everything, it looked more smooth, I think, than this one. Is that correctly? It's... Or maybe I will put a little bit more powder here. Wow, no, it's so smooth. Shit. <laughs> yeah, because of course it's for primer. But uh, I don't know, guys. Now I think... I don't know. Now I'm confused with uh, application points because uh, it's very nice. It smooths my skin much more than this side. What's happening? What just happened? Okay, next one. Uh, this powder in here. This is like illuminator. I think for highlighter maybe it's not enough sparkles. So I will go with the big brush and we will try to blend this on my face so those illuminator powders they give you like they remove some matte um, feeling from your skin after you apply layers of your makeup and it look more natural this is what they should do mm -hmm. let me try here Wait, I'm blind, guys. I have to see. Yeah, definitely I can see um, like my skin start to glow. It's not like flat and matte anymore, which I like it. Uh, I don't know how it works like a highlighter. But we will try this out, of course. Mm. For highlighter, I, I just try for you guys. It's still bronzer what we have to apply, but I want to check if I can see some glow also, or this is just more. It have like a pearl, uh, so it's really not visible highlighter. 
uh, but definitely it's like a silky glowy on on the skin so if you search for some highlighter but more like a illuminator i do recommend this one and this one it was dandelion twinkle so application very nice my skin it's like very nice glowy it work very good together with the uh, powder so i like it i give five points as well okay guys I did eyebrows behind camera, I was thinking it would be faster and of course I had right and I was using Benefit and this is Precision Brown Pencil number 4.5. I already also bake under eyes and on places where you have to so I will just gently take off. What I have left from like uh, brush for powder i just set my eyebrows i think they look more natural not so like a wow intensive and also behind camera without you guys i dipped with star palette uh, and i was barely go with hula like this and i went on my eyelids nothing really special i decided then i would just set a little bit concealer and foundation that's it nothing more but now on the other side of brush i really think i will try this yellow from um sugar bomb i don't know what is this actually is this a sparkles i don't know but we will try this. I want left on my eyelids and we will see what will happen. Something happened or not. Yeah, I like to bright this. Yeah, I think it's very nice. Of course, it's not for that, but you know, this is makeup, you can play with makeup, you can use everywhere where you want it. So this is what I just did. Under eyes, I will go with same hula shade and I would just left there. So first I will swatch cookie. Oh cookie, this is so intensive. And then we will go to Georgia. Hmm. Georgia don't give me it's very pressed powder. Hmm. Georgia don't give so much. It's like gold but very i think it can look beautiful on face by the way it's beautiful shade but we will try this out definitely Shh. cookie they like cookie yeah cookie it's whoa, bright and bright so i think we will do like that i will just go with the bronzer first and on one side i will apply hula on another side i will apply dallas just for you guys so we can see the difference with shades on case if you don't want to order all palette uh, you will prefer to on the order individual individual in something you know you know what i mean and then uh, yeah we will see rest so i will go in one side with this side hula this side Dallas, not Douglas, sorry. So I go with Hula. It's very pigmented, by the way, so have to be gently with that. And we will just blend this. 
I think everyone loves Hula because it's so neutral shade. Uh, it's not too warm, it's not too cold. It's just like uh, perfect. Can you see this uh, luminous, this highlighter on my face? When I apply bronzer now, it gives me like special extra glow, which I like it. Yeah. So my skin became tan, but not dry. I like to left the most powder in here. I mean there. So always when I apply bronzer, like I grab from palette and directly I go in here because uh, if you will put too much, definitely from here you can blend everywhere. If you left in here, you're done. Like it's so hard to rid of, of too much bronzer from your face. So I think I will finish like that on my nose. So I will finish like that and I will clean my brush and same brush but without Hula shade. I will, I will go with the Dallas and Dallas it's lighter. This is Dallas, this is Hula. So Dallas it's lighter, more cold shade. Um, I hope we can see this on me. Oh, the smell, it's so nice of this palette. Ooh, I like Dallas. I mean, both are pretty. Okay, I like, I think, more Dallas and I will tell you why. When I apply Hula, I know Hula can have like that power, so you don't even know when you are like a brown and tan, but Dallas seems to be shade when you can really grab a lot and you just blend this out and it's... I think I like more this side. It's a little bit more colder also. I don't know if cam camera... I don't know if camera will see this, uh, but I don't know if you can see this on camera, but on mirror this side it's more warm and this side it's more natural. It's remember me mm, bronzer, my favorite bronzer from Marc Jacob, uh, Tantastic, I think, 1.104 and uh, yeah, that lasts Dallas is my favorite. I mean, I like Hula too, but now uh, I will use Dallas all the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, I think I will just apply mascara. I will go with my lips and we will try highlighters. Uh, for mascara, guys, this is my favorite mascara. Where is she? I use this mascara every day. Babe, where are you? Oh. Roll Lash Mascara from Benefit. First of all, look amazing. Second of all, it's amazing. So I will just use it now and uh, I come back to you quickly. Okay, now I feel so much better. By the way, uh, mascara, this is just one slim layer because after this tutorial I have to wash everything out and I have to make some exercises and it's already 7 o'clock in the evening uh, so mascara, this mascara, it's so 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 much more intensive just to you know and now we go to highlighters before I apply highlighter I like to set my makeup with setting spray I will use for that this is guys I love this setting spray this is the one of the best in my opinion and this is the uh, Slyke from Urban Decay so I would do like that it's really not too too much and then I will go with Blendiful from uh, Tati on the side without powder and I will just press everything together when my face it's still when my skin it's still a little bit wet I feel like I connecting all layers more together 
and then we will apply highlighter so mm -hmm. and this what some tips from me um, when you go to palette don't wet your brush first with some setting spray first put a dry on dry brush highlighter and then spray brush with product on it and apply on your skin bump you will love it you have to try that but we will try first like a dry i don't have any access on the brush this is jacqueline hill brush don't have yeah jacqueline 02 and i will go with this shade cookie i will just go really a little bit because you saw on swatch it's so intensive and i will apply in here yeah already it's a lot you see so i just gently touch with my brush and it's so intensive and spend some time to blend highlighter as well don't just left like that if you will start blending and blending it will come more like a wet so and i will still continue so you can see the glow so beautiful a little bit upper also okay this is so beautiful you can remember this guys because now i will wet so we will have very intensive so as i say this is my tips if you want to pump more highlighter so i have product on my brush right now and then i take setting spray i just brush i just put like this and then you apply You see, this is crazy. Benefit. Mm. Definitely beautiful, but I will never apply that for every day. It's just too much, of course. E but if you like to have so much highlighter, yeah. Wow, it's so beautiful highlighter, guys. Mm. Wow. I do recommend it definitely. So nice, so beautiful. Okay, and then I will take another brush. I will take from Fenty because it's totally clear, clean brush, and I want to really try this. And I want to really try this Georgia. I really want to depth on Georgia and see what shade is this because as a swatch. I couldn't recognize okay so I have a lot of product right now and we will just go there I don't know if this show anything on camera because it doesn't show much on the real person either so oh oh okay I would say more healthy <laughs> But let's apply more. And I really grab a lot from... Okay, now I start to see more and more. Wow, I like it. I like also, you know, I like highlighters when they're more champagne. Can you see in here? It looks so much healthy. I don't mind too intense. Okay, I know I just try for you power of this and I put a lot. Let me just try to fix it. And I look like a psycho, but... Oh, you see? Okay, but it's not everything because uh, this side highlighter we pump with the wet brush. We would do this on this side. I do like very much this Georgia shade and I didn't try that Georgia before so we will do like that I will take product on my brush and we will wet this like before 
and let's check her out. Look guys, this is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's so pretty. Wow, very nice. I mean, very nice. I like it a lot. Yeah, so this side, it's so much closer to my taste than cold highlighters. Yes, palette. So let's give her five. Guys, five points for application. I love all shades from this palette. I'm sorry, I totally forgot about the blush in here. So this on the middle, this was Sugar Bomb. I take my brush where I use for blush and I don't know, we're supposed to mix this all together and then I will just apply on my cheeks and we will see what will happening. Mm. Oh, it's really beautiful. It's so pretty, guys. Oh, you will like it, guys. Definitely, you have to order this. Like, this is sugar bomb. It's so, so beautiful. Like a blush, like, guys, hello. Mm. Wow, I like my face. I like really my all makeup. Wow, I, everything is important with finish, guys. With the blushes, with highlighters, to have skin more glowy, but not like a back too much glow in some places. So definitely I like it. So yeah, once again, I will give five points from this palette. And my favorite uh, shades from this palette, it's number one. This is uh, Sugar, Sugar Bomb. Number two, I will go with this highlighter on this side, Georgia, Georgia and Dallas. So these three, they are my favorites from this palette. But of course, I will use all that product. And now I will compare to you guys um, these two other palettes from Benefit so we can see and we can compare them together. Uh -huh. Okay, babes, I'm back with two other palettes from Benefit. So Benefit have three babes right now. These, please, my God, don't drop this. So, this is how look three palettes from mm, Benefit. So, Bronze Squad and Pink Squad from Cheerleaders, they came together. Um, and guys, I just want to show you this how look bronze squad so uh, each palette have hula uh, because hula is the most famous uh, bronzer from benefit so each palette have hula they have also blushes they have highlighter it's cookie do i have cookie yeah so cookie is in here uh, in the new palette we have also cookie and let's open this other one they are big they are really big and in here, this is pink squad, we have uh, hula also, I don't know how to show you. So we have hula in here and we have Dallas also. I tried Dallas before, I don't know why it wasn't my taste. I mean, I don't know why I wasn't focused on Dallas. Uh, but now I like it. So you see, sometimes you don't use product and later uh, you just love it. And then we have uh, blush and we have blush too also in here and we have highlighter over there. So this is how they look. And let's compare now. So this is new palette. This is old one. I mean, not so old. Uh, this is pink. This is star, as you can see. Maybe I will show like that. 
so. And then we will compare bronze squat, bronze squat. So we have also hula and we have highlighter from this palette. Same like on the star, the new palette. This is how they look. So number three, prices. Prices I will review in Swedish uh, value, it's a Swedish crown because I live in Sweden. So other individual uh, products like all hula or other mini uh, products, they cost 215 crowns. I think this is very good price for a product like that. So five points for this. Uh, about primers, I do believe they cost the same, it's 170 crowns, I think this is very good price also. I would like more if that price will be 150, uh, I don't know, just I think 150 sounds a little bit better than almost 200, but uh, I think also, I, I think I will give 4 points. Um, because maybe we could have a little bit more product in here for 170 crowns so I will give four points just but this is just about the price about this palettes uh, this older one uh, the price for palette is 720 I just say because I was thinking it would be interesting for you to know and now I will try check how much cost the new one maybe it cost exactly the same uh, 720 well we have beautiful products in here we have very useful uh, palette I just think it's a little bit overpriced if I have to be honest with you I think 720 crowns it's a bit too much but we have two bronzers we have two highlighters and two blushes so I don't know what I supposed to think about that um, maybe 650 it will be nicer so just for price range and uh, no offense to benefit at all i will give four points as well Ooh, okay so she's more expensive so we can say a uh, cheek uh, star cost almost 800 crowns this is a lot eight 785 cost in sephora this palette so we can say like that Definitely, I will use all shades from this palette. Definitely. This is like every product, single product in here is useful. It's so perfect for me. It's really perfect for me. So I think for this palette, I will pay 750, but almost 800, it's a bit too expensive. I don't know, benefit. Give us some better prices. Um, so I think 750, I rather pay for this palette than for this one so I think it should be like that 650 for this palette because I don't use all shades and all products and 750 for this one then I can give five points now I can give four points for this palette on five just because I think it's a bit too overpriced but still product is very very good this is what I just want to say uh, same time I was reviewing this concealer and I just want to tell you price as well this cost 295 uh, for this concealer I don't know I guess products they are expensive right now so I just tell you price for that uh, it's not just because of benefit it's just prices everywhere like this and for roll uh, mascara for mascara for this mascara what I told you it's amazing cost 325 definitely I would pray that pray pay that price for this mascara just saying okay babe so I think that's it this is what I create for you today and uh, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial show me some love if you uh, was liking if you survive with me to the end don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and follow me on my instagram profile Monica Proof um, yeah so that's it I guess 
I do recommend Benefit products. In my opinion, they are very good quality stuff. I didn't try just one product for from Benefit and this is eyeshadow palettes and I really want to try it because I think they are good with powder products when they can create so nice blending uh, bronzers. I think they are very good with uh, eyeshadow palettes as well. So soon, maybe on my Instagram, or YouTube channel, uh, you can see some eyeshadow palette from Benefit. That's it, guys. Love you so much and uh, take care. Mwah.